Wow. This is more desirable than I thought it would be when I saw it announced. Full disclosure, they were like, iPhone mini. And I was like, ha ha ha. But then I saw it and thought, you know what? This looks good. What's up everybody, Peter McKinnon here. Welcome back to yet another video today. Today we're talking Apple iPhone mini. Like I said in the intro, this is one of those things that when I got it in hand, I thought to myself, I kind of want to use this as my daily. I, for whatever reason, throughout the past, I have bigger phones, bigger screens, bigger cameras and everything. Yes, that's uh, that's what I want for sure. I'm seconds away from holding an iPad up to my face and talking on it during the day. Then enters this little thing and it's just, it just feels good. Like it is every single person that has come by and looked at this phone has been like, oh wow. That's actually really nice. There's something about how small it is that just makes you want to make space for it in your life. You start to dream and think about ways that you could have a smaller phone and, and have less and maybe carry around less large items and less items in general. And this does exactly that from the moment you pick it up. Also, you guys know, I'm super in love with this wallet. We'll talk more about this tomorrow, but it fits seamlessly onto the back. If you're like me, you'll appreciate that. And it feels really good in the hand. It just fills that that nothing spot inside your hand, which, which just ergonomically is nice. So with these two things and just how nice and aligned it is, it's a great size. Does the camera suck? Let's talk about that. So this is one of the new 12 models from Apple. The camera does not suck. It has less features. You're not getting the sensor shift, the stabilization, the bigger sensor. You're not getting the two times zoom, the two and a half times zoom. You're getting wide and you're getting ultra wide. But that doesn't mean the camera is limited by any means. This still takes ridiculous photos. Now, if you saw the other video that I uploaded pretty much at the same time as this one, the Pro Max version, you can compare those photos to this 12 mini. And there's a lot of instances where they don't look a whole lot different, which, which just shows you this thing stands on its own two legs. Let's take a quick look at a couple of shots here that I took of this Lamborghini. And I'll put a little like disclaimer out there. Anytime you're shooting a supercar, it, it pretty much looks good. Like it's hard to make a supercar look bad. So it was uh, it was already kind of set up for a win. But with that in mind, let's take a look at the quality of the photos. We'll throw some up so that you can see how good this camera actually is. Spoiler alert, it's pretty good. Let's keep in mind, this is the exact same camera as the iPhone 12. So the 12 and the 12 mini, I guess you could say, same thing, no difference. So quite a bit of tech packed into something that is very small and very convenient. So much to the point where I am very much on the fence if I wanna use this or the Pro Max, because the camera's great and the size is, for me, incredible. There's something about going back to a small phone that I just, I wanna do it, I need it but that Pro Max. <laughs> Let's take a look at a couple side-by-side -side comparisons. Here's a shot of the Lambo. Let's float those two for a second. Now let's just come in just for the hell of it and let's throw in the same shot with a mirrorless camera. Okay, so mini, Pro Max, mirrorless. What do you think? Let me know below. And here's one more comparison. Here's the mini, here's the Pro Max, mirrorless camera. It's all gonna come down to what you use it for. And it's always that. I don't wanna sit here and tell you this is the phone you need, the Pro Max you need, the mirrorless. I don't know you at all. I don't know, anyone could be watching this. So you have to look at your own life and, and your own gear and your own situation and think, what's the best for me? Is, is the camera more important or is the functionality and the size of it more important? Because this is still a super fast, super capable device. And if that's what you need, you're gonna love it. So. Do you need this phone? Like, should you buy this phone? Peter's saying buy this phone. I'm not saying anything. I'm just showing you. I'm showing you results that I've gotten using this device. If you're just trying to create and document memories that you can look back on and enjoy, you're gonna love this. These new series of phones are the best smartphones that I've ever used. And they're the best cameras on smartphones I've ever used. Final thoughts, it's a cute phone with a dope camera. That's it for me guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hit the like button if you like this video, smash it. I mean, you just click it and you do whatever you want. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to see you again, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.